Hey guys, um, Saiten here. Today I'm going to be telling you how to put these widgets that I've got to the side on your Mac um, to monitor your load, um, your uptime, your calendar. You can do you can do a lot of stuff with it. So we're going to start off by these little widgets that I've got here. Um, it's not using dev mode because if not, I would have they would still be here. Um, using dev mode and taking the widgets out of your dashboard it's very annoying in my opinion uh, you could use yahoo widgets but I think these are better so um, I'm going to start with this it's a program called geek2 I've got it here basically you just plug in commands and I'll open up stuff like this so uh, we're going to click download, put it here, and after you've got it here, you're going to mount the disk, double click here, and replace it. Okay, so these are the things I've got. First one is this one. Which is simply like my load of each ball height. The screen is taking up 34% of my memory, uh, Windows of uh, 18, or right. Safari so only 0 0.1. Um, <clears throat> I'll post all of these commands in the description. Then I've got this one, which is tells me the uptime, so you can drag them around. Uh, the uptime of my Mac, and this one, which is Panda. You can always drag these things around wherever you want. And they will always go behind icons, which is pretty damn sweet. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. To place new command, just press new entry. Go here, press shell. Go here, and you try type in any command. I just type. Doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> you come here, you can change your font, or whatever you want. The color of the text look like red the color of the background you can like turn up the opacity and this can be like pink I don't know. um see and then you can like resize everything like pretty damn sweet um okay so I'm just gonna delete the entry then you just click on enable go geek tool see so these stuff load and done. I'll post like a bunch of commands in the description. Okay. Uh, next thing. This little thing here. Okay. The guys that did eye candy did this as well. What it lets you do is just check your CPU, uh, disk, and stuff like that. And also makes it into a graph. So this is a program called iPods. I'm going to show it to you right here. This is iPods. See? The Icon Factory. Um, this is iPods. Using its concise and pleasing user interface, iPods graphically displays the inner workings of Mac OS X on the desktop or in the dock. Okay. See? I can see in the dock there. Um, so, you have to like buy it really. But I've been using it for a lot of time, and you don't really have to buy it, you just try it. And when it tells you that, please donate or buy this product uh, by clicking here, you just press ignore. Or just close the window, and it'll still, it'll still work. So that's a big, big, big problem. Alright, so you just click try it, and this will download. I'm just gonna stop downloading this. Uh, then you go and you put iPods and you open it up and like it has these this is supposed to be that it has this jackets so just double click this okay cancel um and these are jackets so I'm just gonna show you some these things start like pretty cool 
I can like tune everything up. I like Oracle. Um, so basically that's it. This, um, oh, uh, it's it. I mean, there's not much much more to it. You can put more more widgets of like more geek to widgets. Um, you can train. You can change the, the font and everything. Um, and that will make your desktop look like this, which is pretty cool. And it works perfectly with any application. And for example, I'm just gonna open up uh, iTunes. See, and it always stays behind, which is pretty cool. And I, I post. You can even put this if I, I go to preferences. No, I can change everything here. I forgot to show this. You can even put a clock. And if you change, do you? Like for example, put this. That's that's pretty cool. Others, uh, Windows. This, you for example can put. Oh, uh, as a normal window. Or above all windows or even above the dock and you can like change the size of it but this is pretty cool because if you put above all windows it will always stay there so if you're used to like um stay like this and you want maybe to have it in front of a window because you're like running something and you want to check how much CPU is taking and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So I enjoy this app. Um, so that was it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Um, add me on Skype. Add me on Facebook. Um, thank you. Bye. <laughs>